Welcome back. Joining us this morning are Ed Barowitz and Scott Riho with the Green Bay's Rugby Football Club, and they're here to tell us more about Ruck for a Reason, which is a fundraiser, I understand, for disabled veterans. Is yep. that right? So what, what is it exactly? Uh, well, we have a party down at Molly McGee's. It's downtown up in North Washington. Um, we're going to have a dunk tank, raffles. We have food, uh, silent auctions, all kinds of fun stuff. We're proceeds of the event uh, support us to help support the DAV. And why is this a cause that's important to you guys as an organization? Well, every year as a, as a rugby club, we, we pick a local charity that we like to get involved and help out mm -hmm. with. Uh, in the past years, we've done breast cancer awareness games. Uh, and this year, we decided to go with Disabled, Disabled American Veterans, the local chapter here. Um, it's, it's a way for us to reach out to be a part of the community uh, and help support some of the guys that supported us to have some of the freedoms that we have today to play rugby. So what exactly are you guys expecting for the event? How many people do you think are going to come out? What's it been like in past years? The more the merrier. It's different every year. We hope to have as many people as possible come down, uh, show up and support us so we can support the DAV. Hopefully the DAV will come out and support themselves. We're just looking to have a, a big party, have a lot of fun. we got a live band and music and everything going on too. And tell me a little bit about your guys' organization as a whole. I mean, rugby is not really what you would think of as kind of an American sport, you know what I'm saying? So tell me a little bit about your organization and, and uh, what it's like. Well, Green Bay Rugby's been around for, I think, 41 years now. We just had our anniversary last year. We've won the state title like the past three out of the four years. We've lost one league match in three years. We, like I said, the main thing is we want people to know that there's a rugby team in Green Bay. Like I said, we've been here for 41 years and you still get there's a rugby team in Green Bay. Like, yeah, we've been here forever. So we reach out to the community and show people, you know, we're here to help you. And then, you know, there's rugby. It's going to be a huge sport. It's just gotten tapped into the Olympics. So sevens is a big thing now. Um, there's high school teams all over the state. Wisconsin, like the third team in the nation for high school rugby. Really? Yeah, our, I did not know that. Yeah, our U19 team just won a national title. I coach on that team. So it's kind of a big deal. Congratulations. Thanks. And what's your favorite thing about being on the team? Well, I, I played football for a number of years, and then I was able to uh, transcribe, and I always played defense. And I never got to touch a ball. And rugby, you get, a, you get to utilize different aspects of the game. Um, a guy like me shouldn't be kicking a ball, but every once in a while I'll kick a ball and I'll run with it. and it gets, it, it's, some, it's, it's something where you're, all different body types can play, uh, different abilities can play. Um, and for me to be able to run the ball, it makes me very happy. All right, and just real <laughs> quick details of your event? Uh, the details event, we start at 3 o'clock. Like I said, it's down at Molly McGee's. It's across the street from Fox Harbor. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, Saturday. Perfect. Um, live music starts at 6. Like I said, we'll start at 3. Dunk Tank's going to be set up right away. Um, so if anybody wants to come down, we'll throw in a Dunk Tank, help us raise some money. Thank you. Thanks for coming in, guys. We'll be right back. Thanks for having me. Mm -hmm.